contract on the fly to the Edmonton Oilers trade between the Dallas Stars and the Montreal Canadiens. So the Stars do receive Evgeny Dadanov at 50% retained in exchange for Denis Gurionov. Now this deal is quite an interesting deal. One of the big reasons for this was really who knows. I'm still looking at this deal very perplexed by, especially in the Stars perspective. I understand why the Habs would do it. You're getting younger, you're getting better with a guy like Denis Gurionov. Where if you look from the Stars perspective, they're just taking a risk on a player that's proven himself to be high risk, high reward. And Dadanov has been exactly that. You know, he signed a $5 million deal on the basis of that he had a really good season the year before. And one of the big things we've seen is that he hasn't quite been that good. And this year, yes, he did actually say yes to it. If you remember back to the Vegas saga, where he wasn't sure if he was going to accept the deal, that it wasn't, and then he said no. And then the entire trade world blew up because Dadanov said no. And it was quite an interesting sort of move by Dadanov, and it sort of showed where he was. But with that being said, all of that aside, we got a guy of Evgeny Dadanov, who is now a Dallas star, for really not quite sure the reason. However, this deal I still think is okay for the stars at the end of the day. Yes, you're giving up a guy like Guriana, but in Dadanov, you're getting a high risk, high reward player. He's going to put the pucks in the net if he can find it. If he can't find it, then this trade goes from basically an F and an A. Plus. And to be honest with you, I'm still shocked. I'm sure Ken Hughes, when he picked up the phone, was also quite surprised that they'd be willing to take on number one Dadanov at two and a half million, but give back Denis Gurionov. So interesting deal, very, very interesting. Dallas obviously poising themselves for a playoff run this year. They're currently first in the uh, the central rather. So it's gonna be very interesting to see sort of where Dallas ends up. But at the same time, it's quite interesting this deal. And I was, when I first saw it, I thought I had a typo. I thought some, it was one of those puck empry, where it was like the fake accounts, but nope. No, it was real. So very interesting to see sort of what's going on there. I was very surprised at with this deal. But nonetheless, we'll give the trade grades here. For me, I still don't know what's going on here. I'll give them a C plus for the Dallas Stars. If Dadanov works out, this is the best you'll get. It's most likely going to be a D or a D minus. Because I don't really see Dadanov performing in Dallas. I gotta be completely honest with you. But at the same time, we look at it from the Habs perspective. Woot woot, you get an A+. I don't know what happened here, but somehow you found a way to get Denis Gurionov, so good for you. Way to go, Habs. Great deal for you. Dallas, interesting deal. I'm sure there was some sort of reasoning behind it, but at the same time, Dadnov, very interesting move to go after him. And, and obviously the Habs didn't call saying, we'll take Gurionov if you take Dadnov. This was all Dallas's initiative, so very, very interesting deal. I expect sort of Dadanov to fall sort of second, third line. He'll put up the points if he's given the opportunity. I'm just very skeptical as to where that would be on an already star-studded Dallas team who's ready to make that deep playoff push. We'll see if Dadanov's the driving factor. I'm sure he's going to make me eat my words from this video, but at the same time, if this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you realize you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on the trade. Until next time, see you.